Yeah, I think as a as the last six games for us has been a big learning curve, you know, with all these guys. I mean, Raymond as well at the back as well. You know, we're learning, we're getting to know each other a lot better, and it, it actually helps us, you know, to to become better players as well. We challenge each other each and every week as well, you know, to get better. So I think it's good for us, you know, that we we know each other a little bit better. But as a team, we're growing so much, and it's just so special for us to be together. Yeah, and how about I guess that sort of Lions flavour? I guess we'll call it within the. Springbok squad, but yourself, you got also uh, nine and ten, Ross and Elton. I mean, having that sort of must be quite good to have guys that you know you play week in week out with. So it's a different set that we have the Springboks now, so we're trying to build something and that's a special thing about this team and it's so special to be a part of that. As you can see, a lot of guys love running with the ball in hand as well, you know, we're enjoying each other out there. If someone scores a try, we all celebrate together if we win a scrum, all of that. So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a different team, yeah. I wouldn't say it's the same as the Lions, it's, it's a different team. We're a Springbok team now and we're just happy to build forward and hopefully we can improve on what we've been doing. And what do you make of the All Blacks back three? They've obviously got quite a few options, I mean... We don't even really know who they're going to go with this weekend or how it may look. How hard is it when there isn't? I mean, in previous years, the All Blacks have had maybe a setback three. They're obviously missing Ben Smith, which is a big loss. Damien McKenzie may be likely to play fullback. How do you approach things in terms of yourself doing homework on who may be playing the back three for the All Blacks? Oh, the, same, the same as Coach said earlier, you know, they're, they're special players. They've, they've got special players all around in the whole squad. So whoever plays, they're always going to have good players, quality players going out there. And I don't think you should focus on just one guy or three guys, you know. Like I said earlier as well, it's a team effort at the end of the day. So if we cover all our bases as a team, you know, hopefully we can get the result on the weekend. Another question if you caught. Now, a lot's been made of how hard the All Blacks are to beat at Eden Park. We're playing at North Harbour, which is really North Shore's got a huge South African population. I know because I live over there, I'm not the only one in the world. <laughs> so it's very South African, the North Shore. How much of a, a boost maybe that you don't have this history of trying to... The All Blacks hasn't lost the Eden Park, I think, since 94. You don't have to worry about that sort of mental block maybe. You're not at Eden Park. I think it's a, it's another game at the end of the day. You know, it's 18 minutes that we have to play. It's home or away. Yeah, obviously, it's if you're at home, you have a bit of a home ground advantage with the crowd being behind you. But we still are playing an away game. They're still New Zealand team in New Zealand, so it's still going to be a tough challenge for us to go out there, you know, and get the result. But we just need to do what we need to do on the weekend, and hopefully, we can get the result. So you won't be stopping at a bri on the way to the match. You're about <laughs> to keep going outside. Seriously. Uh, no. Okay. Nothing. No comment. <laughs> Hey, Joanne, I think it's going back to 09 since the box of one here in New Zealand. Is that something that you got to spoken about or you're aware of in terms of your build-up for this game? No, I haven't really spoken about the past too much. Um, obviously, I've been here a few times before. Um, you know, the, the last game in, in Auckland, bring back a few, a few memories in, in 2013. Uh, got really close in 2014 with one scrum to go, one minute, 14-10 loss in, in Wellington and, and last year in Christchurch. So you learn from every single test match. But like Ordinal mentioned earlier, it's, uh, 2017 was about a new start for, for us as a team. So I haven't really focused on the past. Obviously, we want to improve test by test. And this will be our, our first measure against the New Zealand side in New Zealand for 2017. There's been talk the last couple of weeks about a new environment amongst the Springboks group. Does that change the way you approach that, that history or trying to beat your blacks on their home turf? Uh, no, not really. I think we've got a lot younger squad than, than previous years. Uh, a few different dynamics with, within our team. Um, you know, with younger guys, you, you get a lot of excitement, uh, a bit more humour, a bit more music. Um, <laughs> But this is a different team for a different year, so uh, we've got certain things that, that makes us strong with, within our team. Uh, we've got a lot of diversity and you know, that's South Africa for you. Uh, we enjoy each other. Um, you know, it doesn't matter where we come from or what your background, we're part of the spring box of 2017. We embrace every challenge day for day, test for test, and like we said before, we can't wait to go out and, and measure ourselves against the number, team, number one team in the world at this stage. You mentioned that.